what's going on everyone you're welcome once again to david data channel if it's your first time i'm so excited to have you and if you're a returning viewer thanks so much for coming all right today's video is going to be like a first part of our video series and we're going to be talking about data modeling today's video is going to be an introductory or an introduction into data modeling we're going to look at what data modeling is and the importance of data modeling we we'll also look at the differences between conceptual, logical, and physical data models, and also some key components of data models. All right, so if you like what you see, please like it to hit the like button and the subscribe button, and also the notification bell, so that um, this video can reach out to other viewers like you are, and um, we can also be encouraged to make more content like this for you and other viewers like yourself. All right, so let's hit the ground rolling into this video. So, what is data modeling? Data modeling is the process of creating visual representation of the data that an organization uses. The purpose of data modeling is to allow for an easy and a structured way to which you can work with data within the organization. And this is useful for software development, database design, and also data warehousing design so that everybody can be on the same page and align the data to match the business processes in the real world. All right, so there are three types of data modeling. There is conceptual, logical, and physical data model. So, a conceptual data model is an abstract representation of the data that focuses on high-level concepts and relationships among the data. So, a logical data model contains a more detailed representation of the data, and this includes information like the entities, attributes, and relationships among the data points within the data model. So, we find that the conceptual data model is very conceptual, high-level overview, and just shows relationships but then when we come down to the logical data model we begin to see details like the entities and attributes and also the relationships of the data model so what is a physical data model a physical data model is a representation of data within a database system or data warehousing system and this is where we now get information like the table the columns and data types as well i believe that this is part of this is um, the most frequently um, use data form of data model, right? Because we all interact with tables, um, columns, and data types as well. So this is the physical um, data model. The importance of data modeling in database and data warehousing cannot be overemphasized because it helps to improve accuracy so that your data matches what what is ongoing in the real world. Remember, the goal of data modeling is to create a structured way so that data is to define what is going on, the processes that are actually going on in the real world, right? So, um, a proper data model in database or data warehousing um, allows for um, improved accuracy, um, takes away redundancies, and makes it easier to understand and maintain data so that if anybody comes to join the team, they can understand how the business flows by mere looking at data model. And a poorly designed data model can lead to inconsistencies, inaccuracies, um, redundant data models, and then um, poor business decisions, right? Because at the end of the day, you want your model to paint a good picture of the real business world, right? That's the thing. So um, think about it this way, right? Um, when scientists are probably trying to do something or create a new product or something, they create like a, 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 a model, a model that just works on a very close system before they scale it up into the real world. Now, a data model works backward, right? Uh, it can work forward as well you're creating the system for the first time right um so it's it's trying to typify what exists in the real world let's take a look at the core components of a data model this will be the entities the attributes and also relationships so let's take for example a sales company the entities are the things that we want to model with our data and this will be like customer orders and products right and then the attributes will be the attributes of these entities so the customer name the customer age the customer address the customer phone number the customer email address the other id the other amounts when the order was made these are like attributes of the entity's order that's the thing so we are going to see the relationship between the entities and then the orders and then we now will have the relationship relationship could be a one-to-one -one relationship between the entities or a one-to-many relationship or a many-to-many -many relationship right this 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 is really how it works so in a conceptual model we focus on high-level concepts and relationships and don't go into the details. Say, for example, one look at a conceptual data model for an e-commerce, it just include um, information about the entities and say a customer um, makes an order and then it sets the relationship between the customers and the orders they make. 
but then we don't dive deep into the attributes of those entities neither do we try to look to create those entities into a table or a, a or, or the columns that will be in those tables right it's just very high level right uh, i'm sure you got a thing or two out of this video in the next day we're going to look at how you can create a conceptual data model for your business or for a case study till we meet again in the next video thanks for watching